Hello everybody, I'm Gleason Crispin and happy St. Patrick's Day! Well, as you might have seen in the video's title, I found my lost tapes from 2015. What happened? I, back that time, a former English uh, teacher, Andrea Hadland, he had asked me to record some videos throughout the city showing St. Patrick's Festival, St. Patrick's uh, Day's activities and so on and asked people what did they like the most about St. Patrick's Day and uh, I had loads of videos guys, loads loads of videos I think it was around 68 <laughs> videos, I mean 68 files and uh, I, I didn't know where I had put them and then I was searching on my Google Drive because I have more than one account anyways and, uh, and then I found, I found all those videos that I said I need to do because in my mind I thought I have deleted all those videos anyways but they are there so I gathered these videos and today is gonna be a special video when you're gonna see what I did four years ago you're gonna see me <laughs> thinner, skinny, with no beard and interviewing people and showing the activities part of the activities during some factory festivals Okay. Before I start, I would appreciate if you hit the subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, and leave it a comment. What do you think? If you like or not, tell me your experience during uh, St. Patrick's Day. Uh, if you're a foreigner or not, if you're coming to Ireland, or if you have already come to Ireland during St. Patrick's Day. So, what was your impression? And I'm going to repeat the question here. You can answer here in the comments. What do you like the most about St. Patrick's Day? So. No more talking, I'm gonna show you now the video. I hope you like, I hope you enjoy, okay? And happy St. Patrick's Day, guys! It is almost impossible to tell the beginning of my journey in Ireland without mentioning Seda College, my former English school. Although our experience there wasn't restricted to English learning, cultural activities were, and still are, part of the school's calendar, and it was during St. Patrick's Day celebration four years ago that I recorded some videos at the school, showing a little bit of the activities. I am Clayton, and this is my, my school here in Ireland, Seda College. And uh, what are you seeing behind me? They are teaching students in this school from all over the world. Uh, the traditional Irish dance, at least they are trying. But I think they are doing a great job because it seems easy, but it is. What do you like the most about uh, St. Patrick's Festival, yeah, or St. Patrick's Day? I guess that I like the, uh, well, it's just a good atmosphere, a celebration mm -hmm. of kind of Ireland, you know, so it's, uh, it's something nice to do. Mm -hmm. um, I have a little girl who's two and a half years old, so it's a great thing to bring children to in the morning, at least. Mm -hmm. When you're young as well, you can go out and drink a lot and just kind of let loose and that's fun for a lot of people so that's what Paddy's Day is all about, you know, it's the people I think who make the, the kind of festivities more than any kind of real kind of festival on the street or anything like that. You know, the Irish don't organize festivals in the same way that Spanish or Brazilians do, but just the people go out and they make their own kind of fun and festival and that's it. I love that it is the day that everybody across the world feels Irish. We get to celebrate everything that is Irish about our identity, our culture, and which we're so lucky that it's just associated with fun and friends and good times. So St. Patrick's Day is celebrated on March 17th. It's celebrated all over the world, but it's particularly celebrated in Ireland because St. Patrick is our patron saint. 
He was originally born in England and he was sold into slavery. The angel came and told him to escape to Ireland and spread Christianity. He did this using the shamrock, which represents the Trinity, the Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost. So that's why the shamrock represents Ireland today. He also rid the snakes from Ireland, which are a metaphor for the devil in Ireland. Um, this is celebrated much in Ireland today. If you see the parades in Dublin, you'll see lots of floats with lots of snakes and St. Patrick with his staff. So that is what we do to celebrate on the 17th. We have a big parade in Dublin and smaller parades in the local towns. You have to wear green on St. Patrick's Day and if you don't, you get pinched. <laughs> Enjoy! Every year, Dublin celebrates St. Patrick's Day with the traditional St. Patrick's Festival. The surroundings of St. Stephen's Green Park, one of Dublin's most popular places, is riddled with cultural activities. People from all over the world join the already cosmopolitan city to celebrate in green, white and orange. Here I interviewed some people asking them what they like the most about St. Patrick's Day. I'm ready for the party, and now I'm gonna ask people what they like the most about St. Patrick's Day and St. Patrick's Day, right? Um, it's not about the festival, people like the music, mm -hmm. all fans, and yeah. the, the festival. Mm -hmm. You will see tomorrow, tomorrow is a very nice big festival, or the, so many things on the island. Mm -hmm. Irish music and the pub, you know, yeah. drinking Guinness, all fun you know, about this. Right. Thank you. Yeah, well. Party. Yeah, parties. Yeah. yeah. Do, you, do you think people are more cheerful this, this time of the year? Pardon? You think people is more uh, more cheerful, more happy yeah. this part of the year? I yeah. Feel happy Tell me, what do you like the most about St. Patrick Festival? What do you like the most about the music, about people? Ireland. It's just brilliant. <laughs> what I really like, I should say, is that people should always bring together to dance the traditional music and singing these strange but so beautiful songs. I think that that's what I like most, the dance and the music. It's a fabric is an an occasion to taste the real spirit of Ireland. So Irish music, people dancing like crazy. This is the most exciting thing about some fabric. I mean, we are very lucky to be here for this day. And at the same time that you have these people drinking beer, you also have children here playing yeah. with you all around the place. So it's a party that you can also come with your family. So that's yeah. what I think. Leprechauns walking down the street. <laughs> it's like an Irish carnival, so yeah. Crazy guys with horns, yeah. <laughs> okay. Crazy man happens. <laughs> I like the Irish music mm -hmm. and the beer. It's very different. Yeah. Different. What about you? Tell me what do you like the most about St. Patrick's Day? The atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Everybody is in good humor. Everybody is happy. The weather is good. Yeah. And everybody is enjoying themselves. Uh, St. Stephen's Green Park, okay, as part of the celebration for St. Patrick's Festival. 
democratic state. They are doing a kind of a great class of Irish dance. So they are inviting all the foreigners to, to dance the traditional Irish dance. And everybody is enjoying. So there are families and many people dress up. Very interesting here in Ireland. It's a Grafton Street. Okay. Regardless, any kind of a bank holiday, there are always artists doing something here. Dance, magicians, musicians. So, uh, and today it's a special day. So there are even more, <laughs> even more cheerful people and even more artistic attractions here. But people still here. People, they don't move from their place because it's really nice. It's a, it's a very exciting and very cheerful dance. And uh, it's, I mean, you, you come here, you you come here, and you'll, you'll end up dancing because it's really, really, really happy and cheerful, and everybody dancing, uh, regardless if uh, Irish or not Irish. And uh, it's a very nice place to come. I invite you guys to come here tonight because it's amazing. I think it wouldn't be fair if I didn't say what I like the most about St. Patrick's Day. Um, there's so many things I like about St. Patrick's Day. Uh, I think especially the energy of people, the city just shines, you know, it's, it's a totally different experience, uh, I mean, compared with the daily life, you know, everybody's trying to mind their business and something, um, so the energy, the atmosphere, everybody's happy, everybody's celebrating, uh, the families, you see a lot of families, um, uh, they, they bring their, their children, so you see the youngest, the elders, everybody's having fun. And what else? The parties, <laughs> the drinkings. <laughs> drinks are very good. Um, uh, but I mean, the pubs are very crowded, especially uh, in the city center. So if you, if you really like this experience, if you like busy places, overcrowded places, so yeah, go to Temple Bar, but uh, be, uh, be aware, okay? It's really busy, it's full of people, so you have to be patient. Uh, public transportation is going to be really packed as well, so uh, but if you're enjoying, if you're in the spirit to enjoy St. Patrick's, I think it wouldn't be a problem. So yeah, so the atmosphere, uh, the parties, um, uh, what else, the music and the events, guys, the activities are amazing, there are loads of activities, loads, it is handy if you to know start planning what you want to do because otherwise you're gonna miss because there are loads I mean loads of activities guys I mean it's from the this years for example it's from the 12th, uh, 14th to the 18th of March so it ha it has already started yesterday because I'm recording today uh, March the 15th and uh, I hope I can upload this video before the end <laughs> anyways uh, I don't know this year if they still have but uh, I remember four years ago there is an app for St. Patrick's, St. Patrick's Festival, uh, where you download and you can and you can follow all the activities. I'm not sure if you can set a notification this year. I don't know. By that time, they have, and um, that was really handy if you really don't want to miss any activity because there are loads of them. And as I said, so once again, I would really appreciate if you hit that subscribe button and uh, give a thumbs up as well if you like, or give a thumbs down if you don't like. You are free to do this. Do all this just if you want to, if you feel like. But uh, the most important thing, have fun this St. Patrick's Day. And see you guys in the next video, right? So take care, guys. Or take it easy, as they say here. And see you next time. Bye-bye.